plastic. It's a huge play on everything that is superficial. There's so much controversy around everything that we do. It is superficial and it is pretty shallow, but that's what it's about, you know? People who think that they're mega beautiful or mega rich, and that is the whole plastic philosophy, really. Whether you love us or you hate us, you still talk about us. Me and Rachel, we were two lovers that got engaged the day we, we arrived in Dubai. Now we're business partners who rip each other's hair out. Are you insane? I told you that. You don't listen to anything I say. Fucking hell. We're just trying to create something that nobody else has created. I've been walking in the same way. We didn't expect it this, this fast. We didn't expect to be owning our own venue within a year and a half. In the next three months, we are opening beach clubs across the entire globe. Today is the opening of the Plastic Party. It could be the worst day or the best day of our lives ever. Yeah. Ian's the nice guy that everybody just loves, you know. Everybody loves Ian. Everybody hates me. <laughs> True? True. Rachel is the behind the scenes brains of plastic, the bitch. I'm gonna smash this bottle of champagne in Sarah's face. Wait, Tony. What the fuck? I'm sick of having to repeat myself. Point out the blatantly obvious. We fight a lot, me and Rachel. This is how, why I get stressed. It's a hobby of hers though. She Thanks. loves repeating herself. You're so naive, you don't ever think. Can you ask what the picture's for? I asked you to sort this out. This needs to be sorted straight away. The management style of a venue is key. Like, he no said, one told he us told what me. to bring it. He told me I'm, I'm bringing it out. I own the club, my management should be. Exactly, no, it's the management. It's like a family what we have here. My sister, she she is the essence of plastic. Anything she does involves three bottles of champagne. Just having the best time, enjoying herself, enjoying the party. It's what plastic's about. We're very lucky to have fallen a point in our lives where we have to grab this while we can or we're going to lose everything. It's a hard knock industry we're in, and you know, but we're learning fast. But it just never ends. There's always more problems. For me, I just, I can't have a headache like this. It's, it's not my fucking problem, right, that this is happening, right? It's all yours. The reason why I'm angry is, right, because my headline act in my opening venue is not coming. And we right? have to quickly think of a different solution. Get a local DJ. Oh, I'll put a blonde wig on and a fake pair of tits or something. If she does not arrive, we are going to be the biggest joke of the entire city. Get this fucking bitch out of my club. She's fucking aggressive. Come with me, come with me, come with me now. I'm Hardy Rachel. We do this AS for seven hours. And my sister's going fucking crazy. You're crying, I don't understand why. Sarah, Sarah, you are not get in a fight. And there's springs, six liter bottles, like it's fucking lemonade. They don't give a shit, they're so fucking rich. Shows that we ain't gonna stand shit, shows that we are united. Come on, I don't fucking care, I can't answer. There's nothing we can do about it now. Another day of plastic. <laughs> Fantastic. We've got three clubs to open in the next few months. I just hope we don't kill each other. It's an almost impossible ask, you know? The way things are going at the moment, our reputation is completely damaged. If we don't fix it now, then what is the future of Plastic Beach Club? Welcome to Plastic. Playground for the filthy rich and aesthetically perfect. <laughs>